Assalamualaikum and hi. So now we are going to look at question 4 from tutorial chapter 4 here. So what we have here is a body of mass M is on an inclined plane at an angle of theta with the horizontal. The body moves up the plane at a constant velocity when the horizontal force F acts on it as shown in figure 4.8. What is the friction between the body and the inclined plane? So basically, we are looking for frictional force. What is the frictional force here? Okay, so let us um, understand what we have here. So we have our objects located on an inclined plane, which is at angle of theta with the horizontal. So the theta here is actually given as theta. The Sorry. The body moves up the plane at a constant velocity. Maksudnya, it is going to move up here. This is the direction of the velocity. When a horizontal force F is acted as shown. So, kita tolak dia gini. Alright? They're going to push it like this. Okay. So, before we start with the question, let us first identify. Let us first identify all the forces acting on it. Alright? So, the forces that we have here. The forces that we have here is, let us start from all the five basic forces, normal, weight, tension, frictional force, and also external force. So, normal, yes, we have normal, sebab it is on the surface and it should be perpendicular to the surface. Normal, ini adalah normal kita. And then weight, yes, semua objek, ada mass on the earth akan experience weight straight down ke bawah. Kena sentiasa directed downwards and then tensional force tak ada as there is no string attached and then frictional force obviously kita ada because that is what the question asks us to find so the direction of frictional force dekat sini adalah always opposite to the direction of motion dia cakap the body moves up the plane ini plane kita dia kena gerak menaiki plane it is going up the plane so this is the direction of the motion therefore to oppose that we are going to experience friction in the opposite direction so inilah friction kita okay sebab dia kata constant velocity so the object is a moving other velocity so ini akan jadi kinetic friction here and then external force yes any other forces acting on the object externally which is the f here you're going to push in this direction so this is another force kita kita ada external force dekat sini alright so now we are going to transfer this into free body diagram first so to draw free body diagram let us first identify which is our x axis and y axis since this is the plane I'm going to stick to this one as my x axis x axis saya ikut plane saya and directly 90 degree to it is my y axis so to draw my free body diagram, my X is going to look like this. This is my X inclined here. And my Y here. Any objects are here. So we are having our weight straight down. Any W's are here. Normal. Perpendicular to the surface. And then we have frictional force. In this direction. And then force kita dekat sini. This force here. Okay. Bila kita nak lukis force. Masuk dalam Cartesian plane dekat sini. You cannot sketch your force like this. Tak boleh. Ini salah. Because the force cannot enter the origin. Okay. Every vector. When you are drawing it on a Cartesian plane. Cannot enter the vector. It should always leave. So without changing the direction. Yang ke sana. In that direction to the right. Without changing the direction. We are just going to take this and place it here. As long as it is still in the same direction. So, this is my force here. Okay, saya dah tulis. Alright, now we are going to find what is the value of this frictional force. To do that, apa yang kita akan buat adalah kita akan buat summation F is equals to MA where we are going to have summation FX is equals to MAX and summation FY is equals to M A Y here. As you can see, the object is only moving along X axis. Dia tengah gerak X axis saja sebab kita cakap dia move up. Tiada pergerakan along Y axis. No movement along Y axis. 
Maka summation along y komponen kita akan jadi kosong sebab the object is not moving along y komponen. Okay. And then summation fx is equals to max. However, in the question, it is mentioned that constant velocity. Dan kita faham daripada chapter 2 lagi, constant velocity maksudnya acceleration is equals to zero. The initial velocity sama dengan final velocity maka tak ada acceleration. Therefore, walaupun dia tengah bergerak along x axis, even though it is moving along x axis, but the motion here involve constant velocity. Velocity yang constant, maka acceleration dia kosong. So, summation fx kita pun akan jadi kosong here. So, basically our summation f here is actually zero. Alright. So, now untuk cari frictional force, as you can see your frictional force is along x axis. Kita pun buatlah summation fx is equals to zero. Okay. What are the forces we have along x dekat sini adalah kita ada friction obviously. Friction on the left hand side of the x axis, belah kiri x axis. And then kita ada w dan juga f yang berada di antara paksi x dan juga paksi y. So therefore we are going to resolve them. So we are going to have f along x, f along y. Begitu juga W along X dan juga W along Y. Alright. So now we have three forces along X axis. Dua on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. Okay. So we are going to write them including the direction. So WX is to the left, negative. WX plus width. Friction is also to the left, plus with the friction. And then plus width, external force along X component is to the right equals to 0 here. So, what is Wx? So, kita nak kembangkan Wx. Wx akan jadi W is always mass times gravity. Mg. Lepas tu kita cakap Wx pula tu. Alright, kita cakap Wx pula tu. Maksudnya, the theta here. Nak guna sign ke cos. So, kita tengok balik dekat sini. Since the theta is given here, setiasa sama dengan yang ni. If you remember, I said Theta sini kena sama dengan sini. So, theta kita tengah sentuh paksi Y. Okay. Maka, Wx kita akan ambil cos. So, kita ada negatif. Mg, eh sorry. Akan ambil sin. Kita akan ambil sin. I'm sorry. Because the theta is touching touching paksi Y. So, Wx akan ambil sin theta here. Minus friction plus width. Fx dekat sini. Okay, Fx kita pula yang ini. Alright. So, kita cuba tengok. Kita ada theta dekat sini. Alright. As you can see here, this whole thing ini, guna colour lain lah, colour hijau. This one, perpendicular to each other. The F and W are perpendicular to each other. 90 darjah. 90 darjah. So, kalau ini theta, Ini akan jadi 90 darjah tolak theta. Betul tak? And then as you can see, ini dengan ini pula adalah 90 degree. If this one is 90 minus theta, maksudnya ini adalah theta juga. Ini adalah your theta juga. So, angle sini sama dengan angle sini. Both are theta. Okay. So, kita punya theta ini is touching the x axis. Sebab dia sentuh x axis. So, my x is going to take cos here. So, saya akan tulis F cos theta equals to 0. Okay. Since kita nak cari frictional force, saya nak jadikan frictional force sebagai subjek dekat sini. Negative friction akan sama dengan bring this whole thing ke sini. Begitu juga bring this whole thing ke sini. So, when you bring negative mg sin theta, dia akan jadi positive mg sin theta. And then positive f cos theta akan jadi negative f cos theta. Okay. Since this is negative here, kita nak positifkan dia, kita darab dengan negative on all side here. 
Right kita darab dia dengan negatif on all side So ini akan jadi positif Ini jadi negatif Mg sin theta plus F cos theta Ataupun in simple word Awak bawa ini je ke sini Yang lain duduk kekal Tak berubah Okay masih sama negatif sin Positif F cos Okay ini je kita bawa dia ke kanan Pun boleh Tak ada masalah Benda yang sama Jangan pula nak kelirukan diri sendiri Okay So if you want it to look Nice You can rearrange this tu lah Supaya yang positif duduk Depan Cos Theta Minus Mg Sin Theta Okay We are going to leave it like this Because we do not have the value of anything Semua pun adalah unknown So kita akan tinggal jawapan kita sebagai Unknown here Alright Yang ni jelas Kan, I hope you are clear I can repeat if you want I'm going to uh, repeat it another, one more time Sekejap eh Tak apa nanti Miss Lucas balik Alright, okay What we have initially adalah Kita ada force kita In this direction Okay Pasti kita ada Ini adalah Fx saya Ini adalah Fy saya Alright So according to this diagram Kita ada triangle dekat sini And then ini adalah y axis kita sambungan dia Saya pernah cakap Theta dekat sini Sentiasa sama dengan theta dekat sini It's the same Theta So kita boleh tulis ini sebagai Theta here Okay Kalau kamu tengok These two here Adalah perpendicular to each other 90 degree F Dengan W 90 darjah Okay Kalau ini dah ambil nilai theta This part here Ini akan jadi apa? 90 Tolak Theta Betul tak? So ini akan jadi This one here Is 90 minus Theta Alright Faham? Okay Cuba tengok this one pula Sekarang X exist kamu Dan juga Y exist kamu Sentiasa 90 degree juga Betul tak? So this is 90 degree juga so, kalaulah ini Theta dari Y ke F ni adalah 90 tolak theta Maksudnya ini berapa? If this whole thing is theta Eh, eh sorry, this whole thing is 90 Kalau ini semua 90 Ini dah 90 tolak theta So, ini akan jadi berapa? Theta jugalah So, this one becomes theta So, this angle is always the same as this angle Because